Hey guys, welcome to One Girl's Opinion. I'm your host, Tina Lynn Ashbourne. And I know I sound a little different. That's because I have been sick and I'm still trying to get over it. Uh, so just bear with me. So in today's video, um, I thought that I would show you guys how I set up my planner for both personal and um, my blog and YouTube. I know I just did a video a couple months ago about it. And I said that um, I wasn't going to change the cover, but I ended up changing everything. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I would do a little update. Um, and I wanted to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We now have 61 on the road to 75. So please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm not going to do a blogger's corner because... Um, this is going to be a real life video and when I did the video I did it with an intention to post it to uh, my Instagram planner page so it may look a little funny. <clears throat> That's just how I did the video. Um, so let's roll the intro and then get into the planner video. Okay, so I went to a couple of different Michaels, a Joann's, and a Hobby Lobby. Don't judge me. They were so rude to me at Hobby Lobby. I will never go back there again, I promise. Um, and at the Hobby Lobby, I found this really beautiful um, note, happy notes. And it says, there are so many, so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And I just thought that it was so beautiful. I decided to use it as my cover. I did make a homemade one, which you'll see but it just um, wasn't up to my standards. And I wanted a cover that I could use for multiple years um, for anything. So that's why I got something that did not have uh, the year on it. And then I just used these really beautiful expander rainbow discs. I love rainbow discs um, better than the solid colors. I know that's pretty crazy, but I just, I really like the rainbow disc. So when you open it up, the first thing that you see is my word of the year page. Now, I went with um, three words of the year because uh, when I sat down to do it, I just, I knew I wanted one, I, I wanted growth, but then I like wanted excel and, cons and consistency. So I was like, I'll just go with three words. So I want to consistently grow and excel. So that is how I did that. And I wanted it to be in the front so that every time I open this, I would see it. And on the back is just basically um, what I plan on doing. I'm not going to show that because it's it's personal. So, you know, um, that's just my slogan for the year. Consistently grow and excel. Uh, so, yeah, I really... And, yeah, I just decorated it with some different um, little stickers. And then on the inside, my hello page is a page that I've been using. I really like the page, so I just kept it. And what I did was, because it had the calendar on the back of it I just homemade my calendar and just glued it on so this is 2020 and this is 2023 um I'm pretty happy with how they came out I hand drew them and then on the back of this paper is my goals for 2022 again I'm not going to show that because it is personal and then um this is the plan this is the cover that I had originally made I got, I have like so many Michael's um, cardstock little uh, pad thingies. I stocked up um, the week before Christmas because they're only like five bucks. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of that. I, later on, you'll see some of the ones I use to make um, dividers. But this is it. I, I really like it. It's just, it's really, really flimsy. So I didn't want to use it as a cover, so I decided just to use it as the divider. And then um, we come in to the calendar, and here's where you're going to start noticing um, how I did things differently. Like there, like you see here, there's no um, month at a glance or what monthly page. I absolutely hate that. I think everything should be after the divider. 
And I really wish that Happy Planner would give us dividers that don't have anything on the back except for like maybe art or something. I really hate that they put the calendars on the back of the dividers because then you can't repurpose them. Like I understand they wanna make money, but still, if they could give us some dividers that don't have anything on the back. And then what I did up here, as you can see, I just made little bookmarks um, for my different things. I have the monthly calendar, the weekly, my schedule, my habit tracker, my mood, um, weight loss, my journal, and my faith planner. Um, so let's go ahead and go to, I'm going to go to February because um, January is filled out. So this is, so I, again, I just repurposed some dividers. And what I did was um, I just glued my monthly, at a glance, how like my monthly to do, important dates, appointments, goals I want to work on for the month, and then some notes. And I just glued this on the back of um, each one of the dividers. And then this is my month page. Now for me, the month page, I just use this um, for bills and like the TV schedule, like shows that are airing or whatever that we want to watch. And I just put it in there and I also use it for, you know, important dates and things like that. And then we have the weekly. So I like, I'm a vertical girl. I like the vertical. And again, I hand drew all of this. So I hope my drawing skills, I hope that it looks good. It looks great to me, but you know. Um, so I just have like important notes for the week and then goals I'm gonna work on for the week. And then the days here, and I've already started decorating these in January and it, it does really good. Um, so then let me get to the next thing. Um, so then here, right immediately after the week, I have weekly notes. So like I can put, um, some different things here if I need to. Or just whatever and then um so this section isn't done yet because it's still in the Jan in the january section so basically um what i'll do is i'll have a cover page um and then i'm gonna have my schedule which i'm gonna be redoing the schedule every single month so that's why it's not done here i will redo it at the end of january um, and then I will have my mood tracker. And basically what I do is I took all my colored pens and I just wrote what I wanted them to be. And then I'll just like make little squiggly lines or colored in or some sort of something to let me know what I was going on that day for me, how my mood was and things like that. And then over here, I have my habits tracker. I haven't decided what I will be tracking for the month of February. Um, I will decide that at the end of January. So that is, you know, the habit tracker. And I'll just put the habit and then I'll write something out about it and I'll just put a little sticker here. And then I have my um, book log. So my goal is to read 40 books this year. I personally can read probably 150 this year, but my goal is 40 because I probably read maybe a book every day and a half sometimes less than that if the book is small because i read really really fast um so that's uh that's that and then i have my weight loss so basically what i'm going to do at the end of every month i will put the start weight here and then the end weight at the end of the month and then i will just write it in and my husband and i um we are both on a weight loss journey so i will track all of our weights each week I weigh every single Sunday, so that's how that goes. And then after this will be my um, my journal. So right now I'm using a guided journal, but next month I will probably use something different. It will vary each month depending on what I what I'm doing. I really want to get the new guided journal from Happy Planner, but I just can't justify paying twenty dollars for it. Like. It's just expensive to me, so I don't I don't want to pay it. And then after that will be my faith planner. And I am doing the Bible a year thing. Um, I'll go back and show that. So this is my cover for my faith planner. And then what I do is I just write it on the back. And I'm a little bit behind, but that's fine. I'll get caught up. And I just color it out when I'm done. And then I just did three dividers. Um, the Bible readings, which is for the for this and then my 
Bible study, which is on Wednesdays, and sermons on Sundays. So for me, I don't go to church. What I actually do is I watch um, the Word of Knowledge Ministries, Colleen, Texas, on YouTube. I actually used to go to that church and absolutely adore Pastor Ron. He is an amazing pastor. Um, he's a, probably the only pastor that I've ever liked. I'm not a big fan of church. I'm not a big fan of pastors. But I really enjoy his sermons and the things that he says. So that's why I watch him. It's, he's, he's amazing. So if you're looking for a church place, Word of, no Word of Knowledge Ministries Clean Texas on YouTube is a great place. So, so this is my cover for my blog and my YouTube. It's just a Happy Notes cover. Uh, and it says Boss Babe, obviously, because, you know... And then I just did I just did a little cover. It says blog and YouTube planner, One Girl's Opinion. That's what my blog is called. My YouTube um, is One Girl's Opinion by it's either with Tina Lynn Ashbourne or by Tina Lynn Ashbourne because my name on Second Life is Tina Lynn Ashbourne. Um, again, you can go to my link tree and um, get a link to that. And then on the inside of that is just my goals for 2022 for that. I'm not going to show that. And then right here at my year at a glance. So what I do with these is I just write down my sponsor or some or a little note of what I blog. And then I just put the blog number. Um, and then, so this is, um, this cover came with the cover that I'm using. I'm sorry, the, um, yeah, this divider came with the cover that I'm using. And it says, you, you have so much beauty. And on the back side, it's just share it with the world. And I like this. I wish that this is what kind of dividers happy planner would give us because i love these i can reuse this and it'll come in handy so this is for january and then when you open it up um it has all of my sponsors these are all my stores these are the events that i'm covering in second life so i just wrote all those down and then it has my monthly calendar which I have notes and then how many blogs i do this month um i try to do 25 a month um, and I try to take Sundays off, as you can see. But I just write down the blog name. Um, and when I do a YouTube video, I just write down the YouTube number. Like, whatever video number it is. It's, um, it's a good way to keep track. And then this is... Um, some of my sponsors have requirements. So that is what these two pages are. And then this is just my contacts. These are all the stores and events. And then I wrote down the owner and if they have a blog manager. And then this is where um, I start my blogging. So because January the 1st was in the old um, planner, I just wrote it down on this little scrap of paper and hole punched it in. And then this is my how my blog looks. So this is my schedule. So this the front page is for first blogs of the day. And then this is my schedule for every day. And then I just write down what I blog. And then on the back, I write down my schedule for the second blogs and then just whatever um, I blog or YouTube or whatever. And a lot of times what I try to do is um, I try to combine the second with the first so that I only have one blog that day. Sometimes I can't, sometimes I have to do two. As you can see, some of them I didn't have second blogs, some of them I did. And then I have my little bookmark here and then it starts all over. And then when you go back here, I have a bookmark. I just made these. I might redo them. I don't know for YouTube. And then I just have these dividers right here. So I have a monthly plan, the tracker, and then my um, sub tracker. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. I'll show you October. So basically on this, what I do is I have this little key code, and then when I fit, I, I, I mark when I film, when I post, and when I edit. Um, so that is what all of this is. And I just noticed on this one, there's no edit. Well, the editing is right here because I had did it kind of weird, and then like I had wanted to do one day of filming, one day of editing, and then one day of posting. And I my goal is to do three youtube videos a week so that just um you know that just didn't work it it got better as we went on and then my tracker so um for my tracker basically what i do is i write down the video name whatever i called it on youtube this is where i put it it's a little summary of the video and then film edit upload thumbnail 
um, description and links, advertise, and the number of views it got in one month. And advertise means I just post it to Facebook. That's what I do. So that's what that is. And every time I complete one, I just check it off so I know that I did it. And that's that's how I keep track. So this is my subscriber goals. So my ultimate goal obviously is 1,000. But I have it set up to do like little ones. So right now I am on the road to 75. And on the back of this page, what I do is I write down like the day that I got the um, the number as you can see I'm on 61 so if you want to subscribe to help me out I would appreciate it um so I put 61 and I just put the date and I just been tracking that it might be weird but that is just something that I wanted to do and then over here I decided um to do a skill building because it is a year of a growth even though my year of growth was last year I still am trying to grow so this divider, um, which was also from the Happy Notes, it says your happiness should be a priority, which I think is beautiful. Um, I just, this section I use as my notes to write down what I've learned in Photoshop or Filmora or whatever skill that I use, I write it down in here. So now I homemade all of the dividers, except for maybe a few in this section. So I use the love for February and then March oh wait a minute so March I just did flowers because I think that this is so pretty and then April now April is my birth month so I did do something fancy and I did get um I got a whole paper pad of different colors of the glitter paper and these were also only five bucks but you know what I don't like about this? I had to tape the tab because it wouldn't stay down. But that's okay. It still looks fabulous. Um, May. So for May, I did flowers um, because that's kind of what I associate May with. Plus, May is mo usually Mother's Day. So I just kind of um, pick that. And for June, I picked Girls Run the World. This is from... Um, I, this is from a happy notes so that I got this paper in so I just used it uh, July is also um, follow your heart this is from the happy notes that I got in August I did um, this paper well, it's not paper it's cardstock um, because August is when pre football preseason starts uh, and I am a Saints fan. I'm a multi-team fan. I like a couple of teams. Uh, the Texans, obviously, I'm a diehard Texan, even though we had a horrible season. It's okay. And the Saints, I love. I absolutely love the Lions. I know what you're gonna say, but listen, the it's it takes real skill to to have that many losses. Okay, real skill every season. Um, I'm also a Cleveland Brown fan. And I like the Dolphins, so, you know. But um, to me, I thought of the Saints when I saw this. And I may do embellishments on this. Who knows? I'll show it if I do. And then for September, because we start kind of getting cold in September, I just found I got this really pretty paper um, that says September to me. And then for October. So because I got these in Christmas, there were no, like, Halloween ones. So I just used this with pumpkins. But like I said, I may go back and embellish it. And then for November, we have uh, the little leaves and acorns. Um, this this just says November to me. I think that it's so beautiful. But November is Native American month. And because I'm Native American, I, I may like do some like Native-y embellishments on this. I think that would be nice. I do not celebrate Thanksgiving, just so you know. So I won't do anything thanksgiving -y. And then for December, um, I did get Christmas cardstock. I got like two of them. So I went through them and I just absolutely love this. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's just beautiful. Definitely going to do something with this. So this is the back cover. And then this is what it looks like on the back. Look how thick it is. This is how thick it is. It's thick. She's thicky thick. So that is my planner for 2022 let me know what you guys think um 
Have you ever dove into homemaking a planner for yourself? And if you did, what was your reasons for making it and how did it go? I would really like to know. Um, also, if there's any tips for how I can better make my planner instead of hand, hand drawing it, let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a heart um, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.